Hello everyone! Pag-usapan natin kung paano ba ina-apply in real life ang discrete probability distribution and that is using the expected value. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started! Expected value ay ginagamit sa mga instances na involved ang discrete probability distribution. Ito yung theoretical average or mean ng ating discrete probability distribution. So, ang ating expected value ay ginagamitan ng notation na E of X. Na iba man ang notation, yung formula niya kapareho pa rin ng mean ng discrete probability distribution. Ginagamit ang expected value sa iba't ibang uri ng games of chance, sa insurance, at iba pang areas na involved ang decision making. With a specific emphasis sa games, para maging fair ang isang game, dapat ang expected value niya ay palaging mag-i-equal sa zero. I-apply natin ang concept ng expected value sa first example. Suppose a game involves tossing two coins. If two heads appear, you will receive 50 pesos. Otherwise, magbabayad ka ng 10 pesos. What is the expected value of the game? And is this game fair? So first, inote muna natin that X stands for the gain or yung monetary gain mo sa game na ito. At dalawa yung possible values natin for the game. It's either makaka-receive ka ng 50 pesos, that's why it's positive 50, or ikaw yung magbabayad ng 10 pesos. O kumbaga parang mababawasan ka ng 10 pesos sa wallet mo. Kaya negative yung 10 kasi loss ito. After nating makuha yung 50 and 10, kailangan nating makuha yung probability nila. So yung probability ng gain, which is P of X equals 50, Magigain ka daw or tatama ka daw ng 50 pesos kung two heads ang lalabas doon sa pagtutos ng dalawang coin. So, para mas maintindihan, kuhanin muna natin yung possible outcomes. Meron tayong heads, heads. Uh, meron din tayong heads, tail. Tail, heads. And tail, tail. Tapos, heads yung involved, ba So, bilangin natin yung number of heads. Ito dalawa. Ito isa, ito ay isa, ito ay wala. So, ang 2 dito ay isa lang out of 4. So, ang probability ng 2 heads ay 1 fourth. Next, ang probability naman ng loss, which is negative 10, ay yung probability na at most 1 head. Ibig sabihin, itong remaining na other outcomes. So, it's one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, that is three fourth. And kung titing na natin to check if our answer is correct, dapat kapag pinag plus natin to mag i equal siya sa one. Which in case one fourth plus three fourth will indeed sum up to one. So pang check lang po yung concept na ito. Once alam na natin yung value ng x. At yung kanilang probability, pwede na tayong mag-create ng table or yung probability distribution. So, for 50, its probability is 1 fourth. And for negative 10 or the loss, ang probability niya ay 3 fourth. Based on the previous slide, ang expected value daw natin ay summation lang ng x and p of x. So, in other words, yung 50 natin i-multiply sa 1 fourth plus yung negative 10 i-multiply sa 3 fourths. This is 50 times 1 fourth. This can be written as 50 over 4 minus 10 times 3 fourth. That will result to 30 over 4. Subtracting them, we have 20 over 4, or in other words, it's 5. Ibig sabihin, on average, magigain ka ng 5 pesos sa bawat laro. 
So we can conclude that the expected value of gain is 5 pesos. And to answer, is this game fair? Obviously, it is not fair. Dahil nagiging fair lang daw ang game if ang expected value natin ay 0. Let's go to the next example. In a game of cards, if a face card is drawn from the deck, you will receive 100 pesos. Otherwise, you will pay 5 pesos. Is this game fair? Solution, again, ang x natin ay kung ano yung gain sa ating game. Ang possible value ng x natin dito, kapag nag-gain ka, of course, you will receive 100 pesos. Pero, kung nag-loss ka or hindi ka nanalo, mababawasan ka or magbibigay ka ng 5 piso. Now, tingnan natin yung probability ng gain. It will result to probability x equals 100 or probability ng face card. Hmm, isipin natin. Sa isang deck, meron tayong 52 cards. Tapos, ang face cards doon ay 12 lang. Tapos, yung numbered cards... Ibig sabihin nito, mula 2 hanggang 10, we have 36. And the other 4 remaining cards ay yun yung mga ace. Ang gusto lang natin yung face card. Ang face card ay 12 out of 52. Or kung kukuhanin natin yung decimal equivalent, 12 divided by 52 Let's round it off to the fourth decimal number, 0 0.2308. Again, round natin sa fourth decimal number kasi hindi pa naman ito yung final answer. Next naman ay yung probability ng loss mo, which is the probability of negative 5. Ibig sabihin naman nito not a face card. Ibig sabihin yung numbered cards, 36 over 52, Plus yung aces, 4 over 52. Nakapag inad natin will result to 40 over 52 or 0 0.7692. Buuin ngayon natin itong table. So for 100, which is the gain, ang probability nito ay 0 0.2308. For negative 5 naman, ang probability niya ay 0 0.7692. Ulitin natin yung ginawa natin sa first example. Yung e natin, e of x, or yung expected value, yan lang ay summation ng x times p of x. So, 100 times 0 0.2308 plus negative 5 times 0 0.7692. So, the first expression will result to 23.08 plus negative 3.846. At kapag ito ay in natin, it will result to 19.234. At dahil ito na yung final answer natin, Pwede tayong mag-round off to the second decimal number, 19.23. So, to answer, is this game fair? Obviously, no, it is not fair. Because the expected value is equal to 19.23 pesos. On average, you will gain 19.23 at dahil hindi siya zero, obviously, this is not fair. Ganyan tayo gumamit ng konsepto ng discrete probability distribution sa iba't ibang real-life examples.